All right, I'm just going to run through the whole thing just to show you um, kind of how we, we, we establish these things. As tests to claim that the mean GPA of night students is significantly different. This is your key word, different. It doesn't say less than, it doesn't say greater than, it's just showing you that it's different than 2.4. So if this, so th this should, should denote a two tail. Two tails tests go with not equals to. As soon as you see not equals, two tail. If I said significantly less than, let's see, that would look something like, uh, I guess this one right here, right? Less than, that would be a left tail. Okay. If I said significantly greater than, that would be this guy, and that would be a right tail. But since I'm just trying to show difference, it can be greater than or less than. So all it matters is that it's just not equal to. So we can go both directions. That's going to be a two tail test. Okay. So then let's just dive into this. So this is a proportion. So I'm going to go turn my calculator on, clear this out. Stat over to test one prop Z test. P sub zero is 2.4. Oh, we're looking at mu. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, mean GPA. So this is going to be stat. We'll go over to, let me quit out of this. Stat. That's going to be a T test because we don't know based on a sample of 35, the sample GPA. So we don't know sigma. So this is going to be a T test because sigma is unknown. So we have our mu is 2.4. X bar is 2.45. Our standard deviation is 0 0.05. Sample size is 35. And we're just trying to show difference, not equal to. Calculate. So our test statistic is 5.92. That's good. But be careful here. This p-value, notice this e to the negative 6. Okay. That means you take this decimal place, this decimal point, and move it six places to the left. So this is basically going to be point five zeros. And then a one. Okay. So this is so small to two decimal places. This is just going to be zero. Okay. How do we fail to reject or reject? It's looking at your P value and alpha. Okay. Here's my alpha. You're going to compare P to alpha. Keep this in mind. If P is low, we reject H O the null. If P is low, or in this case, lower than alpha, we reject H O. P is zero. So P is going to be less than alpha. So P is low. So we're going to reject H O the null. So if we reject the null, and that's going to be our answer there. Okay. So again, if you're just showing not diff or not the same, any kind of significant difference that's two-tailed, significantly less than would be left, greater than would be right.